Stop expecting you from other people. This is one of the things, especially when you're starting out in sobriety, that you may attempt to do that, you know, more than likely uh, you're going to fail at it and how you react to it can actually mean the difference between whether you relapse or whether you stay on the right track. And that is expecting you from other people. One of the things that I did when I first, the very first time I attempted to, attempted sobriety was, I was trying to convert my friends, my drinking buddies, everybody around me to being sober. You know, I'd preach the gospel of sobriety, you know, telling people, starting off by telling people that I wanted to be held accountable. But then in my conversations, I was slowly getting to the point where I was trying to convince other drinkers that they too should live a life of sobriety such as me and they should be on this path with me. And I became slightly disappointed when I didn't get the same amount of enthusiasm or the same amount of concern for their health or their life or their future that I had for myself. I would they did my my cries for you know them to get better in my eyes, how I saw it, right? Uh, I was trying to help them. I was trying to, you know, get them on the right track and tell them, hey, come along with me. This is going to be a great track. You know, living a life of sobriety is a thing. And I was disappointed at the lack of excitement, right, or the lack of commitment that other people had. And this, you know, how you look at that can, like I say, determine the difference between whether you stay on track or not. Because if you're looking for other people to mirror your amount of uh, intensity or care or desire to really do anything, and you're looking for that validation, which is ultimately what you're trying to do. You're trying to seek validation, right? And the fact of the matter is the road of sobriety, you can help other people or whatnot, but ultimately the road of sobriety for you is up to you. It is your responsibility and it is the you are the first and only person you really need to be focused on ultimately for your sobriety. So when you're running around trying to expect you from other people, expect other people to join you or expect other people to be happy for your sobriety, right? Or expect other people to support your sobriety, just like you would for yourself, you're going to fall to disappointment and how you react to that is going to be very key. So when it happens and more than likely in some instance, it's going to happen. You're going to find disappointment because you're going to wonder why your excitement, your care, um, uh, your diligence in dealing with your own sobriety in life isn't mirrored by other people that you think or reflected by other people that you think should be on that same road. Uh, you got to just let them be where they're at and keep pushing forward. One thing I always tell my kids and I tell other people to remember is people have the right to be wrong. Right. And yes, they may not be wrong. They may be right. But how I look at it in my mind is if I feel like the road that I'm taking or the way I'm acting or the way I would have done things is the correct way and other people think differently. Ultimately, I settle it by saying, hey, this person has a right to be wrong and I keep it pushing. So remember your sobriety, your focus, your goals, your dreams, your responsibility. You're the only person you have control over in that path. If other people look at you and find you to be an inspiration and an influence and decide to, you know, mirror the same actions, great. If not, so be it. They have the right to be wrong. Let them be where they, leave them where they stand and keep pushing forward. All right. So I just wanted to leave that from you, leave that to you, for you, right, to remember to not expect you from other people. Don't worry about it. You can let them know. You can drop the knowledge off. Let them do what they will with it, right? Like the song says, I can give it to you, but what you're going to do with it, whatever they do with it is their business. What you do with you is your business. So I want you to run in to remind you of that. I hope that pours into you. I hope it gives you something to think about. And until next time, peace.